Back with the first team, the 21st of August saw Charlton at Roker Park to take on Wearsiders Sunderland. A familiar face in the Sunderland lineup was striker Lee Power, who joined Charlton on loan from Norwich last season and played in the first game back at the Valley. Of course, the new rules this season allow clubs to name three subs, one of whom must be a goalkeeper. Joining keeper John Vaughan on the Charlton bench were Paul Gorman and co-manager Alan Kirbishley. For the first 60 minutes or so, Charlton looked to be having the best of the play, but failed to finish off their chances. Early in the second half, it seemed as if Charlton might take the lead, when Sean Newton broke through the Sunderland defence for a crack on goal, only to see his effort go wild. Things began to go horribly wrong for the visitors when the game erupted into controversy 20 minutes after the break. Sunderland's Don Goodman headed the ball past Mike Salmon, but not before the linesman had flagged for offside. Unfortunately for Charlton, referee Trevor West failed to notice the flag and awarded Sunderland the goal. Goodman added insults to injury ten minutes after the opener, sending in a shot which Mike Salmon was unable to cling on to. Michael Gray seized upon the loose ball to leave Charlton trailing by two goals to nil. With eight minutes to go, Charlton found themselves with a proverbial mountain to climb, as Gray laid on the shot for Sean Cunnington to score. Gordon Armstrong completed Charlton's misery with five minutes left on the clock and the Addicts' loyal band of travelling supporters look to be in for a long and unhappy trip back down south. The game finished, Sunderland 4, Charlton Athletic 0. The Addicts' worst defeat in three years, but a scoreline that many will feel flattered Sunderland. <laughs>